Hello and welcome to another session. Today we are going to look at an overview of AWS Storage Services. Before getting into this session, if you want to know more about basics of cloud storage, listen to the video in the description and come back to this. If you are already familiar with the cloud storage terms, then let's get started. AWS offers a wide range of services for storing your data and managing them. It lets you store your data, access the data, and govern by setting various policies and analyze your data by using services like Athena to query your data directly from S3. It helps in reducing the cost as you no longer have to guess the capacity or keep buying physical devices. And it increases the speed as it's all on internet and accessible anywhere resulting in huge time saving which can be invested in growing your business and innovative ideas. There are three types of storage which are supported by AWS, object, file, and block. Also, it supports data backup and data migration from on-premise to cloud and vice versa. The first major and famous AWS storage service is S3, Simple Storage Service. It helps in storing and retrieving unstructured data from anywhere in the world. It supports 11.9's durability and 99.99% availability. This availability changes based on the different storage classes. Pricing is based on the amount of data being stored and the number of requests that you make to access the data, data transferred to and from other AWS services, and cross-region replication charges. S3 offers a lot of features to keep your data secure in cloud. You can set bucket policies to restrict the access of the data at granular level. And also you can use IAM to control accessing the buckets. It comes with various encryption options as well. S3 is a vast and one of the important services in AWS. So we'll discuss about it in detail in next session, including information about what is a bucket, how to enable versioning, cross-region replication, bucket policies, and more. Next, for storing files, AWS provides a service called EFS, Elastic File System, which is simple and fully managed by AWS. It is a regional service, but can be replicated across availability zones within the region. It comes handy when the same data needs to be accessed by multiple EC2 instances at the same time. You pay only for what you use and it depends on the storage class. You can use it in areas where you need high throughput and low latency data access. Next service is Elastic Block Storage. It is a high performance block storage service. This service stores the data within an availability zone and it's replicated within that availability zone. It scales easily up to petabytes Again, you pay only for what you use based on the volume type. Main usage is for data with huge number of transactions. For instance, EC2 instances use EBS to store the data. AWS has a dedicated service which supports data backup across many AWS services, which makes it easier to manage everything in a single place. You can do automated scheduled backups and manage the amount of time your data needs to be retained automatically. Data backup plans can be set up based on the policies or tags associated with the EC2 or RDS instances or any other service. Pricing is calculated based on the amount of data being backed up and the amount of data being restored from the backup. It's mainly used as a centralized backup mechanism for most of the AWS services, instead of managing the backups in each service separately, like EC2, EBS, RDS, EFS, and so on. The last section in the storage services list, data transfer, is another key area as many companies are drifting towards cloud only in recent times, and so they need ways to migrate data from on-premise to cloud and vice versa. AWS offers a variety of services for that too. Storage Gateway is used to simplify storage management and it reduces costs for key hybrid storage use cases. 
like moving backups to the cloud, using on-premise file shares backed by cloud storage, and providing low latency access to data in AWS for on-premise applications. AWS Data Sync is another service which makes it simple and fast to move large amounts of data online between on-premise storage and S3, EFS and such services. AWS Transfer Family provides fully managed support for file transfers directly into and out of S3. Snow Family are physical devices used to migrate data into and out of AWS. We are at the end of the session, so let's do a quick recap. AWS offers a wide range of storage services to meet customer needs. For storing huge amount of unstructured data, it offers S3. And for file storage, you could use EFS, Elastic File System. Data which needs to be accessed more frequently with less latency can be stored in EBS, that is Elastic Block Store. It also offers a mechanism for centralized backup for many AWS services. Last but not least, it has services like Storage Gateway, Snow Family, and more to transfer data in and out of cloud. In the coming session, we will dive deep into S3 service as it's very important and commonly used service. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. We'll see you in the next video.